Before we start, here's the correct answers to last episode's questions. Klocka Kalas Ekträd Flagga Trana Now, let's continue with the episode. This is an English guy to learn Swedish. We've now talked about the most important rules of pronunciation, and hopefully you don't feel totally foreign to the language anymore. In the following three episodes we will dive into the hardest part of Swedish pronunciation, and that is silent letters, exceptions, and their different sh and sh sounds. Understand that it's really hard if you're not exposed to Swedish on a daily basis and not at all rewarding to listen to something when you don't understand a iota. But language aren't something that can be learned just like that. You have to listen to it a lot to be accustomed to the melody of the language. So whatever opportunity you have to listen to Swedish, take it. Use Google Translate and search for something on YouTube. All languages have exceptions and they are hard to learn by nature, so it's important to get an intuition. Anyhow, in this episode I will cover silent letters and most of the pronunciation of G. In the following episodes, be observant, because some of these words are homophones, meaning same sounding. But there's a lot of difference in meaning. As I mentioned in episode 2, the letter G causes a lot of preceding letters to become silent. These letters are D, G, H, and L. For D, some examples are djur, djävul, djup. Also note that all vowels in these particular words are long, since no double consonants are present. Some examples of a silent G are gjuta, gjorde, gjort. G is actually one of the more tricky letters, since it has so many pronunciations. In some words, G is pronounced as a G, as in göra, gitarr, genom, gärna, Sverige. Back to silent letters. Here are some words starting with H. Gjort, gärna. Jul. Since we're talking exceptions, there's a very important exception for H. The Swedish word och, meaning and, has a H, even though it's pronounced och. As you know by now, Swedish doesn't use double K. Instead, we use CK. For some reason, one of the most common words is a super weird exception, where the K in CK is replaced for a H. So keep that in mind. It's pronounced OK. And lastly, we have the silent L. Ljus, ljud, ljuv, ljummen. I try to keep these episodes short and efficient, so that was everything I had for now. I will end with the homophones in this episode, which were Jut, Jut, Jana, Jana. Next time I will go through the terrible sounds. Thank you for watching.